Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have, hey yo, man, look, 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 we got Joe Budden going at uh, my NBA young boy, and NBA young boy responding, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it ain't pretty, man. You know what I'm saying? We gonna talk about that in a second, man. We got um, uh, look, 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 we got an artist coming out, man, coming out the closet, man. You know what I'm saying? I kind of feel like I, I saw this one coming, but whatever. We gonna talk about that, and um, uh, we also got um. Boosie breaking out an offer that he gave to Rod Wave, man. He's gonna, he gonna go a little bit into that. And the whole situation about beat not cheating, man. Again, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source Show. If this first time to the channel, man, be sure to hit that like button if you feel any part of the content. We definitely appreciate that. That notification bell is waiting for your task. Going to give it a tap. And that subscribe button is waiting for your subscription, man. So going to touch that too. You check the sound, man. Um, uh, what we had over here, man? Didn't, wasn't I ready? I thought I was. I, look, 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 look. Joe Button has successfully troll and be a young boy, man. Effortlessly. You see what I'm saying? Look. On his podcast, right, Joe Budden made a very interesting statement, man, you know what I'm saying? He said, he said, he said, you're ready to tell the truth about NBA, he said, you're ready for me to tell the truth about NBA Young, my bad. Somebody asked him, they said, yo, are you ready to tell the truth about NBA Young Boy? He said, am I ready to do this? <laughs> I'm, I was over there like, yo, Joe, please, don't do this, man, you got everything to live for, you know what I'm saying? He said, am I ready to do this? He said, that ninja is trash. I'm like, Joe, don't, don't do it. He said, that ninja is trash. He's horrible. He is horrible. He is horrible. He is really, 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 really bad. Really, Joe? Look, I get the sense you don't like this guy. Joe said, I don't know him as a person. I'm only speaking about his music. He is really, really, really bad. And that thing happened to him. <laughs> what thing, Joe? When he was out, the label pushed a button and did some YouTube-ish. All the little kids had to just come to the cuffing gathering and tell you about NBA Youngboy's views and how great he is and how awesome he is and how amazing he's doing. Close quote. You know what Joe Budden's talking about? He's talking about the heating button. I told y'all this before. There's a button that is pushed on social media from the social media platforms that once they push the button, it spreads it out to a massive number of people. You see what I'm saying? The heating button, okay? The button, look, 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 look. The algorithm pushes the content out to a larger number of viewers, thereby increasing the view count dramatically. You see what I'm saying? Look, that's how certain people and artists go viral, man. Look, I'm still waiting for my push. You know what I'm saying? I guess in the meantime, we got to do it organically. You see what I'm saying? So go on and hit that like button if you don't mind, man. Because, look, that's largely how it's done if, organically. Unless that button is pushed. Then it's spread out to a larger number of people. Anyway, young boy heard what Joe Button said. And it made him absolutely furious. <laughs> You're like, oh, surprise, surprise. I know. Tell me about it. Listen, young boy said the following. Hey, yo, take a listen. The last thing I dropped was a side at two. My album's still in the top ten. Pussy ass nigga. Don't speak on me. I don't play that shit. Don't rat on me neither, you pussy bitch. Yeah, bubba. I said, I want that piece about two minutes old. Oh, stupid nigga. dumb bitch. Your dick don't even get hard no more. Count ass nigga. I ain't, no, I ain't no sabotaging me, bitch. Fuck wrong with that nigga, man. Don't rat on me. I'm, don't rat on me, bitch. And I don't want to argue with your bitch ass nigga. Hey, bitch, you do all them interviews. Hey, come on, great nigga, mountain and talk to me, nigga. You can't. Bitch, if you can't do that, man, hey, you bitch made, nigga, shut your fucking mouth. Oh, 60,000. Oh, bitch. <laughs> that six times in a row? That's 60,000, <laughs> bitch, come on my money. All right, all right, all right. Look, hey, I love that man's accent. You know what I'm saying? Boss. You know what I mean? Like, no, I'm not, like, no, you know what I'm saying? I'm not really, I'm not trying to get with him. I'm just saying I like the way he talk. You know what I'm saying? B. You saw how he hit the screen with the money, man. It, it was wild because it made me feel like I was Joe and the money hit me on my forehead. You know what I'm saying? Look, how the hell did he know to do that? You're like, uh, welcome to the world of the interwebs. Don't do me like that. Listen, C, he said, your ick don't even get hard no more. I said, oh my God, what the cuff? Look, what the hell, is, where the hell that come from? That was very random and strange. You know what I'm saying? It, it was super strange. Look, I think I think that was a comment directed at um, Joe's age. You know what I'm saying? Like it was an ageist comment. D. He said, come over to Grave Digger Mountain and talk to me. <laughs> Look, one, I'm not going anywhere near a place called Grave Digger Mountain. That's number one. You know what I'm saying? I got things to do tomorrow. You know what I'm I got to buy a whole new pair of socks and whatnot and some walnuts from Walmart. You see what I'm saying? Two, what if Joe went to Grave Digger Mountain? 
Like, look, I'm going to be there. 3 p.m. And, and then he showed up. Wouldn't that be... Look, 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 look. Wouldn't, wouldn't you at that point be like, either A, he's incredibly stupid or incredibly cunning. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, that would essentially mean I'm so strong, I showed up. You know what I'm saying? Look, you know what Joe should do? He should show up with the police. Come on. Come on now. Come on, give it to me. You said he should show up with hired police officers. Like, I'd show up with seven officers dressed like they stepped straight out of Call of Duty. You see what I'm saying? With all the body armor and everything. You know what I mean? Talk about, look, I'm here for the interview. I'm here for the interview. I'm here. <laughs> look, look, Joe got the money, man. Look, as of November 24th, 2023, right? The average annual pay for a celebrity for celebrity security in the United States is eighty three thousand eight hundred and eighty eight a year. Yeah, you know I'm saying this works out to approximately forty dollars and thirty three cents an hour. This is according to Zip Recruiter. I ain't just pulling these numbers out my rear. You see what I'm saying? This is the equivalent, right, of one thousand six hundred and thirteen dollars a week or six thousand nine hundred and ninety dollars a month. You see what I'm saying? So if it's one thousand six hundred and thirteen dollars a week, I, as Joe, would drop seven thousand for seven armed guards for the day and I would go to Gravedigger Mountain. Look, cameras and everything, man. You know what I'm saying? You can't you can't tell me to come come there and then tell me how I could come. You see what I'm saying? I'm going to show up in the manner that I deem best to show up. Cameras and everything. Them YouTube views would be off the chain. You see what I'm saying? Look, 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 look. And he'd make his 7,000 right back. Even if he didn't, look, even if he did, even if, even if young boy didn't come out, you making it right back. You know what I'm saying? If he looked out, the, if he looked through the curtains, like <laughs> all the police officers would have, I'm not going out there. You make the money right back still anyway. Now, for those of y'all that didn't understand what young boy said, this is what he said. He said, two of my, let me see what this is. Let me see what's going on. He said, two of my albums are still in the top 10. Hustle anime, ninja. He said, don't, he said, don't speak on me, ninja. I don't play that ish. Don't rat on me neither. You pussillanimous itch. You're like, dang. And then he goes, your, your ick don't even get hard no more. I don't want to argue with you. Itch ad, ninja. Itch, you do all of them interviews. Come on to Grave Digger Mountain and talk to me. If you can't do that, you itch made. <laughs> Close quote. Look, I done came with the fuzz, man. You know what I'm saying? I done came with all the 12s. Look, they always generate a yes sir, no sir response, don't they? <laughs> look, look, I don't play that ish neither. And look, and I'm saved. You kill me, I'm going to go with God. I'm going to be with God. I don't got to pay taxes no more and see the outcome of the next election. You see what I'm saying? You can keep this cursed world, man. I, I'm not really like, you know what I'm saying? Look, I'm going to get the joint back anyway. The meek will inherit the earth. And I ain't talking about meek mill. You see what I'm saying? Now, Birdman decided to jump into the fray. You know what I'm saying? Feet first, right? And he sent a strong message. Dare I say last message to Joe Budden. He goes, he goes at Joe Budden. He said, you cuff him with something you should leave alone with a blood drop. <laughs> Which sounds a bit gangy to me. You know what I'm saying? Then he said, stunning, st uh, stunner, Corleone, Gotti, and Barge with a green heart and, and, and the bird. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just, just referencing murderers. Look, I can't wait for the Lord to incinerate this planet of all the refuse. Look, it would be such a welcome. My bad. Look, I mean, look, 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 look. Here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. <laughs> I, I guess some people are like, okay, look, let me try, let me be fair. Okay. Some people are like this. I prefer you to not speak on me. Real talk. Like, that's where I think NBA Youngboy was coming from. I think he really is saying, just don't speak on me. You know what I mean? Like, I prefer you not speak on me. Okay. How I perform at work. Look, some people are like, don't, don't speak on my TPS reports being lackluster. I'm trying to feed my family over here, over these things. You see what I'm saying? I'm trying to feed my family over here. You know what I mean? But Joe Budden, but Joe Budden did reference the sheepish nature of people to follow the crowd. When it looks like this artist has a huge following. Some people say that there must be something there. You know what I'm saying? Let me join the queue. And Joe was just like, yo, man, people are sheep, man. Like they push the button and then everybody think the numbers is crazy. Now, Joe Budden, what's my time looking like? You like this is gonna be a short video? You know it ain't. You saw you saw the number. You knew the number. You knew the drum wasn't gonna be long. I'm testing something out though. Listen, Joe Budden has issued his official response. Okay, <laughs> and that is, he believes he is bigger 
then young boy. Take a listen. Y'all don't think Joe is cloud chasing with that? For no, he's he's a, he's a, he he his podcast is the number one music podcast. podcast. So he, he, I just want to say I'm way bigger than him. Stop this. You are not oh, bigger shit. than young boy, Joe. I think you, you are not bigger talk. than young boy. I think you guys should talk. I think he says way bigger than him. He's speaking on a overall presence platform, like Dog, the young, the you, you young idiots get fooled by these label metrics and these digital tricks. Would you like me to read you the numbers on Young Boy's last six projects? No, Yo, go I, for no, it. No, go no, for no, it. No, 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 no. Go for it. Go for it. Yo, don't, don't cut him off while he's talking. Yo, Joe, go for it. All right. You want to read? I mean, I don't want to. I, did, I mean, I, didn't, no, I, didn't, no, I didn't, didn't, didn't think I had to do this. Because I'm sure someone here is recording. Oh. <laughs> I mean, we're always we record every. On you. 2022. Real 20, quick. 2022 never broke again. Quando Rondo LLC 14,000 copies. Week one, Billboard position 62. Then you have uh, Fed's baby money bag yo. 2017, 21,000. Week one. 38, uh, 3,800 degrees, October 7th, 2022, 24,000. Uh, what else we got better than you with the baby? March 4th, 2022, 28,000. Until I return, 2020, 29,000. Stop this, yo. Stop. You skipped a January, bunch of projects, January, bro. January, you skipped a bunch 6, of projects. 2023. Jameson, 29,000. Here, we got another one here, 2022. Drama, I got a family, 39,000. We got another one here, September 6th. Never broke again, 39,000. We got another one here, 2018, 43,000. We got another one, 43,000, 2018. We got another one here, 51,000, 2023. The point is, you, you're doing a lot for somebody that don't sell more than 60,000 records. Like, stop it. I get they it. fell for the box, Joe! Yeah, I, I know, I know, I know. But enough of it. Enough young people just saying stupid shit in hip-hop. We get it. You like who you like. Awesome. But it's not this dominant force that you niggas keep trying to make it out to be. Y'all did the same thing with Grant. Y'all do the same thing with all these new niggas that y'all like. Just stop it. Hey, look, hey, look, hey, look, hey, look, hey, look. NBA Youngboy may have self-confessed to murder in his music, and he may have even threatened murder, but he wouldn't lie. You see what I'm saying? Murder is one thing, but lying about numbers? Look, if a person is willing to murder, they're not going to cross the boundary and lie and be deceptive with the numbers. I mean, come on, man. That would be crazy. That's like, look, that's like Desus and Miro when they, when they was like, imagine if Adolf Hitler had one over you, like, you know, because, like, he ain't really drink. You know what I'm saying? He, he wasn't an alcohol dr drinker. You know what I'm saying? Uh, imagine if Adolf Hitler had one over you. You offer him a drink, and he's like, I don't drink. <laughs> You're like, Ninja, you did all this other ish. And he's like, yeah, but I don't drink, though. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't drink. Look, I don't need that to have fun. Look, he's like, he's like, look, I won't dare be deceptive about my numbers, but come to Grave Digger Mountain so we can talk about it. <laughs> Uh, I'm good. I'm good. Or I'm coming with the fuzz. I I'll be there. I will be there. I'm bringing all the fuzz with me. Okay? Look, this stuff writes itself. It writes itself! Ima imagine he going to the door. There's like like seven, eight police or armed police or and Joe Budden standing in the middle. Oh! That would be that would be glorious. You know what I'm saying? Uh What's my time looking like, man? You like, oh my gosh, you got a lot going on. Yo, 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 yo. Let me go to my shout out since you feel that way. You know what I'm saying? Do I got a shout out? I don't know if I do. Surely I, I must. I must have a shout out. Hold on. All right, here we go. Shout out to Raul's Aquatics and Reptiles, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, yo, man, Raul got a, he got a channel. You know what I'm saying? And on his channel, he has like a, like, it's like a, more of a, an aquatic channel, man. Very relaxing, man. You know what I'm saying? If you want to kind of kick back and relax, you got to tune in to Ra Raul's Aquatics and Reptiles, man. I like his channel, man. You know what I'm saying? I like to give him a shout out every now and then, man. You know what I mean? Let him know, man. It's all love. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, a shout out to uh, Tulani Toniella, man. I think he might be the only one that caught my Adidas uh, pun. 
from the other day. He said Adidas, Adidas. That was clever. I'm glad somebody caught it. Uh, where we at over here, man? Okay, didn't I have another one? I had another one. I right, love, 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 love. Um, Kendra Middleton Williams. She said, I love when black women figure out the look of their natural hair. Oh, really? Speak on. She goes, sometimes it's tight curls, sometimes it's straight bob, sometimes it's a 3-4 natural curl, straight, short pixie, buzz like Jada Pinkett. I love when black women proudly wear their hair naturally. Gone. She said, my foster daughter has this great tight curly hair, and when she wears it naturally, it's her best look. I shrink inside when she feels pressure to straighten it because it is big when she leaves it alone. I'm good if she wants a little change, but I don't want her feeling pressure to do it differently because she has ethnic hair. Interesting, interesting. Um, I'm glad that you don't want her to feel pressure because a lot of black women do feel pressure to um, change their hair. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so I'm glad that you feel that way about your your foster daughter, man. You know what I'm saying? Bless, blessings um, to, to to you and yours for, you know what I'm saying? Trying to, um, to try, you know what I'm saying? Like to, 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 to be, <sighs> bless you. <laughs> for being understanding. You know what I'm saying? Just for your understanding. And and Corey for Jesus. Corey for Jesus says, Celeb Source. I really do believe you mean well. And at the end of the day, I hope to see you in God's kingdom. Oh, you will. You will. You see what I'm saying? Um, uh, he said, soon you're going to have to make a decision. If you're going to keep continuing, uh, if you're going to continue keeping the people God is trying to save, busybodies and other men's matters or be willing to sacrifice and give up the world completely. <laughs> I see what he's saying here. Remember, Jesus helped his disciples catch a lot of fish before he told them to follow him. Um, pray, my brother, because God don't want us looking into the lives of these celebrities. Why? Because by beholding, we become changed. We must focus on Jesus in these last days. I love you. Hey, yo, man, I love you too, man. And I appreciate your concern. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Corey, for Jesus, I am saved. You know what I mean? And um, here's the thing, man. I do utilize this platform, right? To be able to look at what is going on in our current society, and our current culture, and be able to address some of the issues in our current culture. And sometimes these artists, they want to get a particular message out. And that is the message that we like to highlight and discuss. You see what I'm saying? But from a from a Christian vantage point, you know what I mean? So, um, and I do believe God has given me this platform to be able to do that. Now, a lot of Christians may not agree with that. They might be like, nah, man, I don't believe that. This is such and such a so-and-so. But we're not giving secret information, man. You know what I'm saying? We speak in information that these people are saying with their faces, bruh. We are just spreading out the message and discussing what they spread. Uh, but look, I appreciate you, Corey, for Jesus. Real talk, real talk. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's get right back to it, man. <laughs> Give you some more information to work with. Okay. Uh, uh, let's 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 go with Billie Eilish. Okay, Corey for Jesus. Because let me tell you something, Corey for Jesus. Okay, Billie Eilish has decided to come out of the closet. Corey for Jesus. What you gonna do with that, bro? You know what I'm saying? What? Are you, how are you gonna address? Are you gonna address it? Or you like you can if you want, or you can act like it didn't happen. But Billie Eilish has a huge platform, right? And she has decided to um, discuss her sexuality with Variety magazine, which is a huge platform, bro. You know what I'm saying? So who's gonna talk about it? We gonna let them talk about it and just walk off, or we gonna discuss it? She has decided to say the following. Take a listen. We got to talk about your cover story because you mentioned that you felt like for a long time women didn't like you. And when that came out, all the women were like, we no, like we her. love her. I know. I'm scared of them, but I think they're pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Billy, did you, me did you mean to come out? No, I didn't. But I kind of thought, wasn't it obvious? Like, it's kind of been, I just, I you don't even have to come out. I, I, I just don't really believe in it. I'm just like, why can't we just exist? I, I was like, oh, I guess I, I guess I came out today. I was like, oh, I guess, okay, cool. But I'm, t I'm it's a I didn't know, so it's cool that they know. But, ooh, I'm nervous talking about it. I'm nervous. Okay. I'm okay, you're it. safe. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, Corey. So that's what Billie Eilish said. Um, I don't know. You could you could not address it or you could address it. You see, you see what I'm saying? I personally think it's important for us to address it because it's something that has gone out to the culture. And I think and she wanted us to know. So I think that there needs to be a voice, because if we don't say anything about these kind of issues, then what happens? So uh, Billie Eilish has stated that. Now, here's what she said. She said, can I, can I pull it? It goes, she wrote, 
thanks Variety for my award and also for outing me on a red carpet at 11 a.m. instead of talking to me about anything else that matters. So here Billie Eilish is now trying to say Variety Magazine outed her when I personally believe she outed herself and made it very, very um, uh, uh, widely known that she, you know what I'm saying? Like she likes men and women. You know what I mean? Like she's bisexual, okay? Now I don't know how you're gonna deal with that. I don't know how you're gonna deal with that. I've already dealt with that numerous times on my platform. You see what I'm saying? And it's the perfect opportunity to be able to discuss it. What's my time looking like over here, okay? Um, now let me just throw this out here. Um, since Billie Eilish has come out about her sexuality, she has lost 117,000 followers on Instagram since she came out as a member of the LGBTQ community. Um, did, yo, did y'all know that Billie Eilish's mom does voiceovers for like Mass Effect and Saints Row and other, other shows? <laughs> you like what? Uh, never mind. Listen, listen. She lost followers. Why do you think that is? Why do you think that she lost followers after coming out? Do you think people thought that she was just um, a, a, a regular girl that had that was a, retor, a regular heterosexual girl that suddenly um, kind of flipped the script on them and they didn't like that? See, a lot of people don't like the, the idea that you tricked me. You made me believe that you were one thing when now you're, 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 you're showing yourself to be something else. A lot of people didn't like that. You see what I'm saying? That's what happened with uh, Steven Universe. You know what I mean? Like, like a lot of people don't appreciate being under the impression that you're this one thing, and then you suddenly turn around and trick them into 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 believing as a. Now, I'm not saying Billie Eilish tricked anybody. Maybe she just never discussed it. I'm clearly not saying she tricked anybody. She was just what she was, and someone brought it out, and she outed herself. And now, like, it's a, it's a, it's a plot point. You know what I'm saying? Now, she did lose followers. I'm sure she'll gain um, uh, a few others. A lot of people like to support that kind of thing. But um, uh, look, look, I like Billie Eilish when she came out during the George Floyd um, incident. I, I respect what she did. She came out for black people and she discussed on behalf of black people. Uh, she discussed to white people. She was like, when black people are saying black lives matter, they are saying that their lives matter just as much as any other life. How do you not get that? Once Billie Eilish said that, I was like, I rocks with you, Billie, with that. You see what I'm saying? I don't rock with when Billie Eilish lies. I don't rock when, when Billie Eilish is being bitter. You see what I'm saying? I don't rock when her sexuality does not go with uh, what Christianity teaches about sexuality. I don't rock with Billie Eilish if she's fornicating or promoting it. You see what I'm saying? But I do rock with Billie Eilish when she says... You know what I'm saying? Black people's lives are just as important. See? Everybody has good things and bad things. <laughs> right? I think that's fair. Um, listen. Listen. Uh, remember. Please remember this. If you have an opportunity to do right and you don't do it, it's sin. You know how often we sin on a daily basis? Every single day. This is what this is the beauty of getting saved because once you get saved, God got you covered from that point on. You know what I'm saying? And he's progressively cleansing you from the inside. You know what I mean? We just like dirty bottles at this point with the residue of Coca-Cola in us. You know what I'm saying? You like, are you serious? Can we go on to the next story? Okay. And finally. Uh where we at over here, man? All right, Boosie has stated that when what's my time looking like? Oh, it's gonna be us. This is gonna be a doozy today. I'm sorry. It's gonna be a doozy. But look, 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 you can keep me on in the background, baby. Listen, Boosie has stated that when his daughter goes on a date or is getting deeply involved with a partner, he can cheat on her. Just don't beat on her. Take a listen. You can cheat on her, but don't beat on her. My daughter just texted me she got a boyfriend. She want me to meet him. Be nice. Just don't hit her. Love her. I don't give a what you do. Just don't hear the You can cheat on her I don't give a damn <laughs> Whatever Just don't hear the Hey look man you, He could have said don't cheat Don't He could have said don't beat on her Without giving permission to cheat on her You see what I'm saying But everybody's different like, I get what he's trying to say Essentially Don't hit my baby You know what I'm saying Like I don't feel like catching a body Don't hit my baby I don't want to catch a body on no cuff ish You know what I'm saying 
And you know how it is. You kill the guy. The girl is mad at you because, oh, you didn't have to kill him. You didn't have to kill him. You know what I'm saying? She's leaking. Saying, like She's saying that. Leaking with two black eyes like a pair of Ray-Bans. You know what I'm saying? Looking like a raccoon talking about, oh, you ain't had to kill him, daddy. You ain't had to kill him. Well, you made me kill him. You see what I'm saying? You ignored the red flags. He was talking abusively to you. You know what I'm saying? Talking about he's going to put hands on you. You know what I'm saying? Like you ain't got no father or nothing. You know what I mean? Look, he beat you like it didn't matter. So I had to finish him. He got all emotional and went straight to hell. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) For the rest of eternity. Look, his whole body and soul will experience hell. Not just his hands. You know what I mean? And no, and now, look, and now I got to talk to the police and go to court. You know what I'm saying? I got work to do. Cause your dumb ass could look, couldn't heed the red flags. He was waving, look, he was waving in your face for the past six months. See how, see how your stupidity affected your father, affected the people you love. My bad, my bad, I, my bad. I went all the way into future Boosie in the alternate world for a second after a ninja tried it. You know what I'm saying? Look, I was already in the first 48 room. You know the room with the little table. Uh, now, now you know they tried to eat your boy Boosie up in the comment section, right? And, and folks is like, "Oh, cheated." I mean, you could cheat, but you can't be. Uh, they didn't like that. Boosie was quick to provide his response. Yo, take a listen. Everybody talking about the cheat on the beat on the thing or whatever. Uh, I'm not the type of daddy gonna get in my my daughter's relationships about about no cheating or nothing like that. But if you beat on it, then that's a different thing. That's my problem. A lot of y'all coming. Y'all ain't got no daddy. Y'all ain't gonna call y'all daddy and tell him y'all got a boyfriend because y'all don't even care what y'all daddy say. Y'all don't have no respect for y'all daddy and y'all don't think y'all daddy gonna protect y'all no way. Or his opinion don't mean no way because he ain't Me and my daughter, me and Pretty Black is thick as thieves. I talk to her about anything, she talked to me about anything. So a lot of y'all comment negative about my parenting and all that. I'm a damn good daddy, baby. Damn good daddy. Daddy first. So a lot of y'all, y'all never had a father. Y'all ain't gonna call him because he ain't You can cheat on him, but don't beat on him. My daughter just take me. She got a boyfriend. She want me to meet him. Be nice. Just don't hit her. Love her. Yeah, I don't give a f- what you do. Don't take it down. Just don't hit her. N- you can cheat on her. I don't give a damn. <laughs> whatever. Just don't hit her. N- <laughs> my daughters love me, bro. See, my daughters. A daughter and a daddy, bro, that's different, bro. Like a mom and a son. Like a mom and a son, bro. A daughter and a daddy. I'm weak for my daughter. That's why my next baby, I want sons. Come on, my daughter's, bro. I can't tell them no, bro. Ain't tired of text me, say she got a boyfriend, man. I'm happy. I'm so happy. But she want me to meet him. And I'm gonna be nice, she want me to be nice cause all my girls think I might do too much, but I'm not. That man said, that man said, a lot of y'all ain't never even have a daddy. <laughs> That's not funny. That's not funny. I don't know what's so funny. That's not funny. He said, a lot of y'all ain't even have a daddy. And the one y'all have, y'all don't care about his opinion, no way. I said, damn. I said, Boosie been on point for the last couple of days. He said, he said, a bad relationship with your, essentially, a bad relationship with your daddy will almost always trickle into your future relationship. You know that, right? If the one that's supposed to love you unconditionally didn't come back home, then the trauma of him not coming back will have you believe in unconsciously or subconsciously that the one you're presently with may leave and not come back. And you understand what I'm saying, man? It will be part of the luggage you bring from the trauma of your most impressionable relationship, which is the one with your parents. You know what I'm saying? You're like, dang, I've been learning so much from this channel. I know, that's what I'm trying to tell you. So go on and hit the like button. It wouldn't kill you. Listen, Boosie has broken down now. This is, oh, we're pivoting over to another part. Boosie has broken down the offer he gave to Rod Wave. Take a listen. When somebody use your your words, you get you get a publishing share, 
your writer credits and a percentage of the record. They don't give you no upfront money or nothing like that. You just contact the people who wrote the record and you get a percentage of the record for the rest of the forever. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. But I'm glad, I'm glad that I, I'm glad that I stood up and said what I said because since I said that about the ride wave shit that I was, I gotta take action. I done got four people that hit me up like Boosie. I'm trying to use this song, woo de woo what you want. Bro, give me 25%. Boom, boom. I done did four deals like that in the last two weeks, bro. Now people respecting me as a businessman. I done did four deals. I just sent somebody my publishing two days ago. Two days ago, I just sent somebody my publishing. Uh... They trying to do, they was trying to do, uh, I got, I'm a gorilla ass, ass, yeah, I get gorilla bread, I'm a gorilla ass, that easy, oh bro, here go my publishing, send it to your lawyer, woo to woo, 25%, bro, you ain't rich, 25%, easy, bro, like, I want people to, another dude call, another dude call, he wanted, um, what he what song he wanted? He wanted one off my album. Anything off my albums, I split that publishing. Uh with uh with uh Warner and Trill. So uh for my percentage, I told him, I told him just give me 20%, bro. He like bet. It was that quick. I sent him my publishing information. I sent him my publishing information. He put me on the publishing information. Shit coming out in March, bro. Like, now people see if you do this, people starting to respect me as a businessman. You know, people starting to respect me as a businessman. One little dude, one little dude, he sent me a record that he didn't already put out. On, on, uh, on, um, I think he was put it on TuneCore. And um, it ain't make nothing but like twenty five hundred dollars, bro. In two or two and a half years or whatever, man. I told dude, bro. And, and after after a song come out, you post to they post they now they gotta pay you up front. They now they gotta pay you some money. I told dude, bro, you don't owe me no money, bro. This thing ain't make nothing but. A couple thousand dollars, bro. It's a local dude, local dude. He just was spooking, thinking he'll get sued because I'm like, bro, I barely even heard this record. Mm. I just sent him my publishing, bro. Give me 20% of the record from now on. You don't owe me nothing, bro. I'm a businessman, bro. That's fair, bro. That's fair, That's fair bro. But when you put out a song that's that done done millions of streams and they made a a, a, a a ton of money a bag of money you expect you not to pay nothing no i gotta come for you bro this just business like you know like you know And the people with Warner and all that, now they calling like, I told, when I say I'm suing, they calling like, Boosie, we finna put you in the publishing on the ride record. We finna give you your writer's, it's too late. Why you didn't do this before? If y'all such a, this is a company. All y'all are companies doing this shit. Why you didn't do this before? Cause you thought I was too gangster. To be a businessman. You could have called me before. Before that record got put out, you could have put me in that record. Cause I, I told Rob, I, I say Rob, bro, he was saying he was a fan. We was on the phone. He like, I'm a fan, bro. That I'm like, bro. I, well, if you a fan, I blame the label. I told I say, well, I blame the label more than I blame you. 
You could have called me, but I blame the label because they knew. He said, man, I was supposed to tell the label. That's what he said, man, I was supposed to tell the label. No, the label knew too. It's the same name. How can you clear something and not give someone his publishing or credits? Not everybody. It, 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 it's two, three months. Why you couldn't just put me in and give me my publishing and my writer share? Because you thought Boosie wasn't a businessman. Then when we got off the phone, he was like, I gave him a number. I gave him a number, bro. The song already been out. It made me. I gave dude a number, bro. You know, never heard from him again. He agreed to the number. Say he was going to get at me. He was going to call his, his people, whatever. He come back on social media and say he don't even own the song. I don't own the song by myself. It's split up. Warner, Trill, Boosie. I own my writer's share. I wrote it. And my publishing share. I'm the writer. I'm the writer. So I guess he listening to the white, you know, I'm the writer. I'm the writer. I have to sign off too. I was telling him, you don't know how I go. Bro, like when, when you clear a record, the writer has to get his clearance. The musician, has, everybody has to clear for you to do this. You know, and by me owning portions of the record, I own a piece of the publishing and the writer share. It already been out and made millions. I told dude, bro. Give me 200000 and 25% of the record going forth. And I'm not going to sue you or nothing, bro. Because you already made money off my thing. And you done made people choose sides in the industry. Hmm. You didn't affect me in that way also. This dude thought I was going to tell him two million. That's what he thought I was going to tell. No, I'm not going to tell you two million. I don't own a hundred percent of it. I'm going to be a businessman. A writer share. I, for writing it, I could have told you 50. Easy. I say, give me 200 grand, bro. And 25% of the record, bro. Dude was like, man, okay, bro. Can I meet you halfway with 150? I'm like, bro, I got to get the 200. I'm already spending 30 to my lawyer to sue you. 30. 30 already. Like, you know, I ain't even put that on top of the 200. I tried to work with this dude, bro. All that pulling up shit. Bro, that ain't knock on my door, bro. I ain't heard from him since. You know. Like, bro, like, you know, like, I, I tried to work with that dude, bro. Now, when the suit come... This shit going, bro, you, you going to pay me for emotional damages, um, Instagram damages. <laughs> <laughs> Everything, bro. And I'm telling him this. I'm, 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 I'm me and him talking like regular people, bro. I'm telling this dude this, like, bro, you know, because I want this.
get us. I won't ride away to sample my shit again. This is doing numbers. I won't, I won't, you know. I want this to keep sampling my shit. Cause he gonna help my family. I could have easily told this 800, 900,000. You not say that ain't half of your shows right now. 200,000 and 25% of the record, bro. And I'm gonna sign off on that motherfucker. I even sign off and say we can't talk about it no more. If, if that's what you want to do. But I got to get me, bro. I got to get me, bro. You did this on four or five other songs that I that I never fuck with. But this is, this is, you you went, you, bro, you went, bro, like you, come on, man. Basically, your song is the basis of his song. The hook is basically the whole song. The hook is basically the whole song. You took every word from my hook. Also, you named it the same exact thing. Like, bro, get this on live right now and ask this what I told him, bro. I told him I would pull up. You wherever you at right now, I would pull up and get my shit. You know. And I knew to give him a low number because when it, when it ever come out, I want people to know that. Boosie was a businessman. He worked with dude, dog. Because even when I told my lawyer, I was like, bro, I'm talking to him. Hold off. I'm talking to him. And all I'm going to ask for is 225%. My lawyer like, what the f***, Bootsy? <laughs> Why is this so stupid? <laughs> you know, he got me Bootsy with a T. <laughs> Bootsy, what the f***? What are you doing? This album is gold already. <laughs> this album is gold already. I'm like, man, I want other people to f*** with my shit, bro. This shit then. I want other people to keep doing this shit. I want him to keep doing this shit so the next time he do it, he don't have to pay me no money. All he got to do is give me a percentage. My lawyer was like, what the f***? They trying, to, they trying to take it there and come for that whole motherfucking album, bro. And this dude ain't get back at me, bro. Nah, what y'all talking about? You want money, you must be going broke. No, that's not the case. You're not gonna tell Mariah Carey she want her money from her song because she going broke. You're not gonna tell Diddy he want his money from his song because he going broke. You're not gonna tell Michael Jackson family they want their money, so they going broke. Why would you do it to me, bro? Oh, let me block your broke ass. Hold on. Who said that? Let me block your broke ass. I ain't gonna say your name. You might get a little cloud. I'm just gonna block your broke ass. Oh man, this a this a whole. You a whole? I ain't gonna even say that. They might come after me. They might come after me. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna call you. I ain't gonna call you that. We gonna have the community coming after me. Yeah, get this nigga come on my live. You was on my live that night when I was first talking about it. Come on my live now. Nigga. Come on my live now. You ain't taking nothing from me, bro. You ain't, I, I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry.
I tried to work with this dude, bro. This went on Instagram and said, I'm pulling up. You ain't got to do all this. Man, I was so happy. I'm like, okay. Nah, bro, you capping, bro. Let me pull up. I'll pull up to your hood. I know plenty of people in St. Pete. I'm pulling up. That's crazy. Rather, rather get a suit and pay pay the white lawyers all that money to fight the suit instead of paying 200 k. Simple, and this shit going away. Now everybody look at you like you a real. That shit crazy, bro. That shit crazy, nigga. I told him I will pull up. I will pull up wherever you at. I will pull up. You would rather pay these white and the, and, the, and the labor gonna pay for your attorney, and they gonna tell you that they spent five million on your on this case when they spent two hundred fifty thousand. And the lawyer gonna go with them and say you they paid them five million. So now you five million in debt. So your next album, you will never see a check. That's how they play chess on us black mother. That's how they play chess. You would rather fight, you would rather fight with me and go pay them more money than you would have to pay me. And the label, like the same thing they do in Blue. They told Blue that he is four million in debt on these lawyers. Fight me. How you four million in debt? And I'm only 350,000 in debt. And our lawyers both have five star things on YouTube. That's what they do. Since they paying for your lawyer. No, they didn't gave him probably 400,000, Blue. And they didn't put 3.6 million on top, bro. When y'all could have paid me and this would be over with. Blue said they say he in $4 million debt with these lawyers. How? How? That's what they do to you. When you sign to a label, you don't know. And all they, the labels and the, and the lawyers, they are friends. So you know what they going to put on the tax return? They paid me $4 million. So when you drop your next album, when you looking for a check, you four million dollars in debt. Not counting what they spun on your money. So now you what? Ten million dollars in debt. You will never see another check. They put us against each other, then you with the lawyers. We're going to take care of the attorneys. We're going to get the best attorneys you need. That's what they do to the, to the black. We're going to get the best attorneys you need. You don't have to spend a dollar out your pocket. This shit ain't checkers, man. This is chess. This ain't no checkers, bro. Don't worry. We will fight this lawsuit for you. Don't worry. Keep all your money. You won't have to fight nothing. Till they come back with that bill. And say we spent four million dollars fighting this case. Like you heard the doctor, you think they could help you fool? You think get a whole two hundred thousand dollars bill? Well, we spent four million dollars. You you got a check for five? You got a check for four point five million coming, and you get four hundred thousand. Cause they say that. Well, we had the company get compensated for spending four million on your lawyer fees. When they only spent 400000 This ain't Chuckles' his chest, bro. This shit is deep, bro. That's what they want. They want lawsuits. They want you to get in trouble. When you sign to a label, they want you to get in trouble. So they can go pay for your lawyers. You don't know what they pay. The lawyers and them have a relationship. You don't know what they paid. You done got in trouble. They done took care of your 
trial lawyers and everything. When they come back, it was it was four million. They done went paid 150K. It was four million we paid. So now you forever indebted. You forever indebted, bro. They love them rappers who always get in trouble, always get in jail. You see they had the best lawyer as soon as they, the first time they go to court, right? They got the white mother with the beard, with the suitcase. Everybody know them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're going to keep your, your family situated. You keep all your money. You don't worry about this. Mark will be there at 2 p.m. to see you. He's already been hired by our staff. He's our labels lawyer. Him and Marco eat root Chris every other night. Hoping you get caught with a <laughs> Yes. Yes. We're keeping all that money from the next album. And you ain't gonna go to them. You ain't gonna go to up them, are you? You ain't gonna go on the internet and talk about them, are you? But you will go against the black. This shit cold, man. This shit cold, man. This shit is a cold game, boy. This shit a cold game. This shit a cold game. How you think all the motherfuckers who get in trouble, who sign to the major label, they be right out of jail? Right out. They be right out. They got the best attorney, they got everything. Because it's a hole. They want them to go back. Yeah. They want them to go back. They don't tell their artists that you can't be around none of them dudes no more. Yeah. If you want to be signed to us, you can't be around none of that negative no more. No. No, they high five them as soon as they get out. And get them a sprinter to put the mo, mo gangsters in there with them. So it's another hole you coming out of again. Cause you owe them what? Four, five out. You owe them four, five out. Any, 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 any big deal you do, you owe them four, five out. So if you didn't got in trouble, we didn't pay for your everything. All your charges. When are you gonna ever see a check? You 12 million, 14 million and you done went to jail three times. They done spun two million and now they done went to 12 million. Mm. And you can't prove it because the lawyer is their friend. They eat that root Chris. Right. They, are. they gonna agree with everything they say. I'm an OG, bro. You know, I know the game, bro. I know the game, bro. Like, I know the game. I know the game. I done been with the labels. I done been with all of it, bro. I have been doing this shit, bro. Like, sometimes that fucked me up on my CEO shit. I have been doing this shit. Like, you know, like, I'm the only nigga don't touch his artist show money. Everybody else, any, you say, 20%. Never touch my artist show money. Never, pr only way I'm, only way I'm getting something if we go big and we do a deal. I let this eat off the gate on distro kid. I turn this into CEOs off the flap. I'm finna put this out. I'ma get I'ma get 70%. You're gonna get 30%. I want niggas to see a check from rapping. I've never seen a check up to a label, bro. Real shit, bro. Real shit. When I came home, my CEO gave me a little something. But even my back end, I ain't really, I ain't get to see my back end, bro. Like, I never saw a ringtone check. Mm. You know how many motherfucking ringtones white men I don't have, bro? Like, I never seen a fucking, bro. When I got independent, yeah. I will pull you up right now and show you what I made off distro kid a year, bro. That makes me happy to be a rapper. I swear. When I see this shit, I say, I rap. Right.
And that's real shit, bro. You remember the you don't you remember the ringtone shit? The ringtone money? I've never seen a check from a ringtone. That shit crazy. That was that era too. Never. And you think I'm gonna let somebody take from me now while I'm independent? Man, you crazy, man. The game been beat me, man. I'm just getting back, man. The game been beat me, bro. The game been beat me. When I first signed, they was, you wanna go downstairs and get you some jewelry? And no. Let me try that. When you first signed, how you, how you think you get jewelry right then? They ready to go swipe that black card, bro. And get you whatever you want and put you in fucking debt, bro. They try, I say no, I got a body full of jewelry on already, man. Yeah, yeah 800K act money. I don't need it. When we sign with Asylum, like me and Webby got nothing. Not, not, not 10,000. When we sign with Asylum. And still went on the radio. We just signed a, um, we just signed a deal, you know, just to keep the most. Never got nothing. I said, I don't want that. You ain't got to go buy me a road. I got a Bentley watch on. I'm full of jewelry. Got street money. you like, that was a lot. <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying? I told you we tried some. Uh, I just want to see something real quick. Hey, yo, man, let us know your thoughts in the comments below about everything that we discussed here today, man. You know what I'm saying? Billy Eilish, uh, Corey for Jesus, man. Shout out to you, Corey for Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Um, hey, look, hey, look, Corey for Jesus. You said what you said, but you was on the channel, bro. You're on the channel. You're listening in. You came here, bro. Shout out to you. You know what I'm saying? So you want to know, you want to get some information from this too. If, I find it funny that you said what you said. Because if you said what you said, wouldn't that mean that you wouldn't show up? I'm not dissing you. I don't got no problem with you. I like you, bro. You my guy. Hit the like button. You see what I'm saying? But I'm just saying though, how, if you felt that way, then wouldn't it be odd for you to show up? You know what I'm saying? Like, how did you get here? <laughs> Let us know your thought. Yo, Corey, I, I'm, I'm talking to you, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I'm on Instagram too, man. Celeb Sauce, man. You can always hit me over there. We can have a side discussion apart from the crowd. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Sauce. Your source for Celeb News.